Marie Magnuson. I'm an animal keeper here at Smithsonian's National Zoo, and I've been working with the giant anteaters here uh, for as long as they've been at the National Zoo, which I believe now is five years. I'm Lee Pitsko. I'm an animal keeper at the National Zoo, and I've been working with giant anteaters for about six years. We were able to watch the birth on the webcam, and everything went very smoothly. The next morning when we came into work, he wasn't curled up with mom as he should be. He was on the floor, so he was very cold that morning. Um, he was given veterinary care and warmed up, and he recovered really well after that. Today we uh, got a weight on the pup. The pup weighs just about nine pounds right now. He's gaining about a pound a week at this point. That's an excellent sign. That's just what he should be doing. His parents are Dante and Maripi. They're a pair that we received from the Nashville Zoo. They're on loan to us. Um, they're eight and nine years old. Maripi is his mother. She's very laid back and easygoing. She lets us do a lot with her. Dante is a more cautious anteater. Um, we still do a lot of things with him, but we have to be more protective about working with him. He is a very confident relaxed guy. Uh, he doesn't get at all upset when mom gets up and gets out of the crate that they sleep in. Sometimes um, anteater babies get very anxious if they are not in contact with their mother. He's very relaxed about the whole thing. He is still nursing and he's going to start to taste food around five months old um, and by six months he'll have his own bowl of chow and he'll start the weaning process. Giant anteaters have a, a rather low but normal body temperature for a large mammal, so we're very careful about the temperature that they go out in. Uh, it'll have to be at least 55 degrees before Maripi and the baby can come outside together, so as soon as we get some, some better weather, they'll be going outside. 